What's going on my fellow Farmall brothers and sisters? All right, so as my title reads, right now it's going to be Farmall Tractors Step by Step, The Complete Guide. Stay tuned, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You're not going to want to miss it. going on my fellow farmer brothers and sisters all right it's the weekend cheers all right so I'm gonna go over some things I've had a lot of requests for a lot of different steps not just for the a models you know with the style final drive I've had a request for steps for multiple tractors I'm only gonna make a certain amount of steps I'm not gonna jump into too many because when you start doing that it's hard to keep up I'm only one person um, but I'm gonna explain a little bit about the step process and I'm also going to explain all these new steps that I came out with um, they're actually really cool um, they really look good I did some test fittings throughout this video I'm gonna walk around to each tractor that I made these steps for except for the ones I don't have and I'm gonna show these these steps actually mounted um, and kind of give you a little breakdown on how to mount them what you need to tell me when you're ordering one um, and also once you see this video hopefully you'll understand why I ask the price that I ask for my steps. Um, for one, they're a very nice, well-made, heavy-made, fully welded. Um, all the corners are ground. I mean, I put a lot of time and a lot of love into these steps. The reason I put so much time into these steps, I could just half-ass it. I could throw some welds on there, make it hold up, ship them out, charge less price. Do you really want to do that to your tractor? I don't. I didn't want to in the very beginning. That's why I didn't do it. If anybody wants a cheaper step, you can go find a cheaper step somewhere else. You can find a hang on step. You can find anything you want or you can make one yourself. That's your prerogative. There's no issues, no problem, no sweat off my back whatsoever. But the steps I make, I make them for a purpose. I make them to look good. I make them to hold you. <laughs> and I make them so they don't cut you wide open if you slip off the tractor and come down on the edge of these steps. Because I've seen some steps on some tractors and some shows. That shit is an accident waiting to happen. Somebody's going to slip off some of these steps with these sharp corners and these edges and these angle irons, the way they're set up. Man, that's just going to tear you wide open. You're going to have your calf muscle hanging out. Not my steps. I'm, I, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see anybody hurt. And I want my steps to be around for a long time. So, without any uh, further ado, let me go ahead and I'm going to take this uh, camera over to the table. I'm going to show you the steps I make and I'm going to go over the models that these things fit. Once I go over that, I'm going to go over a few more things, and then I'm going to jump into showing the video of these things mounted. So make sure you continue watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Definitely share this video out with anybody who's a Farmall fanatic, Farmall uh, collector, Farmall junkie, Farmall whatever. <laughs> anybody out there who loves their Farmall tractors and loves riding them in parades, wants to get on them easier or whatever, you're going to want to definitely share this video out and... Um, order a step from me. Remember, my email, sevenvalleysfarmalls at gmail.com. I will make sure in the description box I put my email address so anybody can message me about these steps. Um, again, I offer them in the Farmall Red. I offer them in uh, Cub Yellow. I offer them in Implement Blue. And I'll offer them in like a satiny black. Um, they're all powder coated. They're 11 gauge steel. They all come with mounting hardware. And I'm going to go over that when we get to those steps and I'm going to tell you about the mounting hardware and the options you have. Um, I can make these steps with the angle that I make them. I can make these steps straight. These steps can go behind the tractor. These steps can go in front of the tractor. Um, I've tried to make this as universal as possible but being a custom step on top of that. If you do order a step and if I don't have those particular steps already made sitting on my shelf like ready to just finish grinding the welds and powder coating them you have to at least make sure you give me about four weeks to get steps done because I get a lot of orders I get a lot of steps I do not want to rush through it I do not want to have anything fail on my steps or anything not line up and have you have any issues or not be happy with these steps so you got to make sure you give me at least four week minimum to get these steps ready if I don't have one particularly sitting around ready to go sometimes I do sometimes I don't with offering more steps it's a good chance I won't have a lot sitting around but I will get your order done, and I will get your order out. I will not hold a person's order, money, anything. So anybody who's ordered a step from me, please feel free to weigh in, pop a comment up, tell me what you thought of the step. 
um, as far as holding you, the uh, you know the quality, everything. Put it up there. If you put up anything bad, I'm deleting you and banning you. <laughs> but hopefully I haven't done that. Hopefully I've done made right by everybody and the steps that I made. So my arm's getting tired. I can't hold the phone up too much longer this way anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to this table. All right, my friends. So here's the layout. Here's how my steps almost start out. I buy these all in raw steel. I make all these cuts. I do this. I don't have a company making these cuts and having them pre-ready for me. I make every single last piece all the way down to the gussets. I cut the wedges to make the angles. That right there you see, so as I get it in focus, that right there you're seeing, that's how I start. So anyway, everything I do is in the roll. So I'm going to be looking at some notes because I have some notes written down on um, the information on these steps. So bear with me. This step right here, step number one, this is the one for the AV. You can see it's got a six inch drop compared to the standard steps. Uh, I should have put them side by side. All right, so let me do it this way. That's the AV step, as you can see. See the length of it? See the length of that gusset versus a standard A, B. See the difference in the height? See the length? So I make that AV step that much longer than the standard step. Now again, that step right there fits the... I'm not going to jump. I'm jumping. All right, this step right here. This is for the AV. So if you have a high crop and you need a step, I can make it for you. If you decide you want no angle if you decide you want this step straight oh excuse me you have to let me know you either want it with the bend or you want it straight all right obviously with the av you have no choice my way of looking at these steps if you're sitting on your tractor and you're looking at your steering wheel if you want it to the right if you want a right hand step do it from viewed on the tractor so if you say hey i want a left hand step I don't do a left hand by standing in front of the tractor looking at the grill and saying left hand is on the left side that way. Sit on your tractor, tell me which way you want the step. Kind of consider like the Super A's and all. The Super A is a right hand step. So if you order a step from me and you want a step <laughs> that's on the right hand of you sitting on that tractor, tell me right hand. If you want it for the um, B's and BN's, you can tell me left side or the right side from sitting on the tractor. And yes, I make both sides of that too. We'll get to that. All right, so anyway, so that is the AV step right there. Six inches longer, longer gusset. It'll drop you down where you need to be. Yes, comes with hardware as well. Next step up on the lineup, this is the cub step right here. See how short it is? And they have the offset holes, as you see right there. Okay, that's how the final drive is set up on the cubs. So that is a cub step. And as you see, how much shorter it is. All right. This step right here is the one that I've been asked for the most. I've had so many people ask me for this particular model step. And here it is. I made it. All right. It's not cheap. I'm telling you that right now. But if you want it, I have them. This step right here is for a C. This will fit the C and this will fit the Super C. I use, um, oh, what the hell did I buy? Inch in, hang tight. I got to figure out, remember what that was. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. Rain fart Friday. It's been a long day. All right, inch and a half by inch and a half. I thought that's what it was. But anyway, it's an inch and a half by inch and a half square stock. Let me move my papers off the table here. All right, I am offering this. Base price is just for the step. All right, add-on price is you're going to be buying the 9-inch long, 3 quarter by 10 bolts and nuts, and the extra piece of tubing that I'm cutting for the backside. Watch for the video. And you will see it mounted and installed on the Super C. And you will see how this goes. If you decide that you want to buy your own bolts and you want to cut your own steel for the backside to clamp this onto that rear axle housing, fine, you can do that. This is going to be an additional charge. Let me fit my paper out here so I can kind of explain to you this. This step right here, all right, this is going to go for the last step on the table as well. This step is a little bigger. This step is heavier, all right. This is going to be about a 35 hour flat rate shipping step. Um, the weight on this step, I think weighed in at, oh shit, I had it written down. Yeah, I think it's, um, almost a 15 pound step. All right, so this is heavy, but you're going to see it when you get a hold of it. You're going to see why. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and offer a deal. If you buy just the step frame, all right, that is going to be 185. This backside the extension kit that I'm going to call it right here is 35 hours additional. 
All right, sorry about that. I had to stop the video for a minute. Unexpected visitor. <laughs> um, anyway, so if you decide you want to buy the whole thing together, as far as the step and the extension kit, um, I will sell it to you for two ten. All right, it's a ten dollar discount if you buy the whole unit. Now, keep in mind, eleven gauge steel, full on cut, every single piece, ground down to perfection, smooth, powder coated, grip tape hardware <laughs> everything beautiful step for your tractor that's why it's 210 there's some gaskets out there that are 200 dollars. a gasket that can be cut you know by a machine i'm hand building these so 210 for a step that doesn't exist i think that's a pretty good deal all right so anyway so that's going to be the price all right av step i forgot to say av step all right my standard steps are 165 av step is going to be uh, 170, 170 is what I'm selling the AV step for because it's extra steel. It's double the length on the gusset. It's double the length on the angle iron. All right. And then my boxes are different for it. So I have to charge a little more. So 170 for the AV. The Cub is 165, like normal. Um, I haven't figured out the shipping yet on the AV. The weight's not far off. But the box is bigger so it's going to change i have a feeling the av step is probably going to be about um 18 shipping um most likely on this step all right again not bad for what i'm what i'm building i'm keeping it at a very very minimal uh, just enough to go ahead and make everybody happy make some money for all my hard work and i'm also trying to do shipping the best rate i can trust me a lot of these steps that i'm sending out certain areas it's costing me money to ship them more than i'm making money but it's worth it um, knowing that you guys are happy. Okay, next set of steps. Right here, okay? This one is obviously A, Super A, um, 100, 130s, 140s, um, B, BN, you name it. These steps right here will work for. Now, I am making, as you see right here, a left and a right. So if you decide you want to go ahead and put a step on the left side and the right side of your B&B ends, I have the steps for you. I can sell you a pair of matching steps. Again, these are $165 a piece, and it's $15 shipping each combined at $30 shipping for a pair of these steps because of the weight of these add up almost to the weight of the style on the C. Now, I will break this down and make sure I give you all this information if you order a step, so you don't have to try to refer back to this video. If you email me at sevenvalleysfarmalls at gmail.com, I will go over the pricing with you and I will send you the full description and breakdown of these steps. These steps have been tested so far and they have had 450 pounds on one of these steps alone. Standing on the front edge, not the back, front edge. And so far they have held up beautiful without even thinking of bending, giving, or flexing. All right, that's 450 pounds. I think that's pretty damn good for a step so far. <laughs> it could probably handle more. I just haven't tested one to its max. All right, so that's left and right. Now here's my babies right here. This step right here. I have a left version and a right version. This step right here particularly will fit an H, a Super H, an M, a Super M, Super MTAs, 300, 350s, 400s, 450s, and 460s. It may be able to fit something beyond that. I haven't had a chance to go check all the different tractors on the axles and the final drives to see if they're very similar to like the 450s. So, what I'm going to tell you is, if you have a tractor with this style drive, uh, uh, axle housing on it, all right, with those inch and a half notches on there like that, then this step will work for you. Again, you have to know your tractor because, sorry, I don't accept returns. When you custom order these steps, these steps are yours. The only thing I can tell you is you're going to have to turn around and sell the step if for some reason you ordered it and it's different from what you thought it was, make sure you are thorough so far everybody who's ordered a step has ordered a step <laughs> correctly but i'm letting you know i don't do returns because these are custom made so please know what you have before you order these steps from me i will definitely help you the best i can and make sure i answer any question you have and we will make sure everything is good before you do if you can send me pictures of your tractor if you feel um, uncomfortable about ordering it yourself that's fine send me pictures of your tractor I need a side shot like this, and then I need a close-up shot of where you're mounting it to, front and rear. Send me those photos. I can help you. 
Same thing with these, same price as the C. This right here, I will sell these for 210 as a complete unit with the special long nine inch, three quarter by 10 bolts and nuts. I'll have lock washers with them. The extension uh, bar on the backside to clamp to that housing and ready to go. Literally mount and roll. Now, if you have, now I'm gonna show you, watch for the video when I put these up to the H, okay? Because when you mount these on the H, and if you have a drawbar on the H, you don't need this extension kit. You can unbolt the bolts on the front of your drawbar. This can replace the inch and a half by inch and a half that's on the front of your drawbar. And then you can mount this right back up to your factory bolts. You won't need all this. All you're going to need is just the step. These steps can be mounted in front of the tractor and behind the tractor. Stay tuned for the video that I'm getting ready to post almost right away showing these mounted on a 300 and showing, I'm not sure if I'm gonna mount it on the H because I don't know if I feel like breaking my drawbar bolt loose right now, but I will put it up to the front of that tractor to show you exactly how it fits and you're gonna be quite pleased with it. So anyway, so I'm hoping I'm answering everybody's questions here on this. I don't wanna make this part of the video too long because I wanna show this shit mounted on the tractors. All right, so we're gonna walk in right now to the Super Ray, and I'm gonna show you the Super Ray step, and I'm gonna show you how to mount it on a swinging drawbar. Then we're gonna continue out to the Cub. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the Cub, and I'm gonna show you how it mounts on that. Then we're gonna go ahead and mount one of these on the 300, and I'm gonna mount one, or at least put one to the front of the H, so I can show you. And then the last one, the video will be coming up showing the Super C. A buddy of mine let me use his Super C to mount it up so I can do a video and show you guys. So it's going to show it mounted on there. So anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, let's walk on in and show you the Super A. And I'm sure everybody right now is very familiar with my Super A. And I just pulled the cover off so that way I can show the step again. All right, so mounting the Super A step. <clears throat> if you have a swinging drawbar, now I did a video on this. So this is going to be reiterating something that I've already done a video on. If you want to see the installation of this, go ahead and refer back to my other videos and you will see me mounting this one with the swing and drawbar. So this tractor as well, if you have your tires mounted all the way in and you're close to your final drive and you're close to your fender and you don't think that this step will work right here, let me know. And you can either do one of the two things. You can shim your step, okay, like I had to do for the swing and drawbar, or you can let me know that you don't want it with this curve in it right here, I can mount, I can build the step straight and this step will come straight out in line. It will clear any tire very easily. So you tell me when you order the step, if your tire is full on in, um, now these are bigger tires on this tractor and I have mine set all the way out. I'll walk around in a second and I'll show you my tire settings where I have them at. But I can make these straight. So you have to tell me. Now as you see, I have a lot of clearance. I made these new bars 14 inches long. All right, so they come out 14 inches, so they come out far. This is the older model. This is a shorter bar. This is only a 12-inch bar. My new ones are all 14s, so they come out a little bit further. They come out to about here now. They will clear pretty much all your tires. But if you're indifferent and you don't know if it'll work, tell me, and I'll make it without a bend. All right, so that's going to be up to you to tell me. If you ask for it like this with the bend, you may have to go ahead and put the shims in there like I did right there. These are 3 quarter by 10 bolts that I give you. They're two inch long. If you decide that you have to shim it out a lot further and you need to kick this step all the way over, you can go buy three quarter by ten bolts. But you're going to have to buy them longer. You can get them at two and a half. You can get them at three inches. You can space that thing out as far as you want. All right. You don't have to do a nut and a bolt smaller and run it through there and clamp it. Just get the longer three quarter by tens. I will send you two inch with the step. If you need them longer, that's the size you need. So that's how it's mounted on the Super A. And as you see, I have plenty of clearance. Everything works just fine. Now let me show you my tires and I will show you how far I have mine out. I liked this. This is why I wanted it this way. So see, I have my tires set out further. If you decide you want your tires in or if your tires are in, if right here, instead of that being the distance, if these are actually flipped, it will push those tires. This whole distance you see here, this deep well, will be to the inside. Most likely my step is still gonna work for you no issues whatsoever but again if you're unsure then you gotta let me know how you want your step straight or if you want to roll with it you can space it there's the size tires i have on here so i have the 11 uh, two by 24s and it's a pretty good size tire on the tractor these are 10 inch rims all right so that's enough for the super a now we're going to go ahead and walk in now the cub is still being worked on so it's going to be in shambles 
<laughs> but I'm going to show you at least how the step mounts. So let's head on into the cub now. All right, my friends, the not forgotten farm all cub. I am going to be back out here working on this because I have to get this cub done before the winter time because I want to get the plow on it. So we will be back out here very soon. But anyway, so on the cub, as you see, the tires and everything on here, the way they're turned in, everything clears. All right, I don't have these bolts ran in all the way, so they're not tightened up fully. Obviously, this is going to move out to about here once I tighten everything up, as you say. say I have them just sitting on here because I don't want to mess this up because this is a customer step. But, again, I have them on a turn. If you decide you don't want that on a turn to be anywhere near that tire, just tell me and I can make it straight. These work very nice for stepping up, propelling yourself up, getting to the platform, and getting on these cubs. These make it so much easier, so much nicer. And again, you can change this up if you want. You can put shims on there. You can kick that step over if you want to a little further. If you decide for any reason you want this arm longer on here, I can make that happen. But you're going to have to pay a little bit additional cost for the extra material and the extra you know, time breaking things down and changing up my pattern on my jigs. So I can make these different. But as you see, this tire was turned in pretty damn close. I mean, it's she's all the way into the final drive. Um, and it clears just fine. So that's the installation on the Cub. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the H next. All right, excuse the grass. I haven't had a chance to cut back here around this yet. But here's what we're going to do for the H. I'm going to snake this in real easy. And I'm going to kind of give you guys an example here on how this goes. You're going to remove that bar right there for the front of your draw bar. Keep the existing nuts and bolts. You're going to take this. And you're going to mount this exactly where that is and that's going to go in place of that bar if i can show you this that is about how it's going to look on here i'm going to mount this on the 300 which is almost identical and it's going to show you exactly how i'm talking about how i mount this let me grab the other side and i'm going to show you what i mean about reversing one if you want one that's backwards Okay, uh, I guess I can go off this one if you if you want to. So sitting on the tractor, this step, this step, sitting on the tractor, is considered a what? All right, I didn't hear anybody speak up. This is a left hand step. Left hand step will mount right there and right there. Obviously, I have the loader on here right now. If I didn't have this loader on here, I would mount this up and show you. But no, I am not dismounting this loader just to show a step. Because if you do have a draw bar, but you still want a front mount, and you don't want to mount it from the rear, if this loader was in the way, here's my notches right here. I could actually mount that step right here beside this, and the step would come right out just fine, and you don't have to use this. Now you would have to buy my extension kit. All right, hopefully that explains that easy enough. Now, I'm going to walk around the other side. Hang on. Okay, so now if you want to mount this from the rear, for any weird reason, you can take that same step that from the front was on the left side step. You could put the mounting kit right here. Now, this isn't the mounting kit. This is just my loader. You can mount the step in the rear like this, and you could actually use this step to mount up from the back of a tractor. Again, I will mount it up backwards on the 300 so you can see what I'm talking about, but this will be the same as far as the H and the M's. Now, what I've been saying is, know your setup know your draw bar know if you have you know fast hitch on your 300s or whatever you have you have to know what you have to know which step is going to work for you you can send me pictures and i can help walk you through that process so yes we now have steps for the h's and the m's i still love my old h <laughs> such a good running little tractor all right let me go ahead and get this stuff mounted up on this 300 and show you how it works okay so now i'm going to show you this mount it backwards on the 300 which again goes for the same for the h the m the super h the super m the super mtas same setup see how that's mounted in there now i could choose to mount it in this slot i could choose to mount it in this slot this step right here sitting on the tractor is a left hand step i'm showing how a left hand step looks mounted on the rear right side of the tractor so if you decide you want to mount this thing from the rear all right if you got stuff to clear you don't want to go stepping on your fast hitch and everything else. You could get this step right here. You can mount it from the rear. It gives you a low mounting point. Step, 
boom, you're up. Now, these tractors are totally different animals on the sense of know if you have a TA and know as far as how your levers not work. If you have a belt pulley, if you have a belt pulley, it's going to stick out to about here. You may, depending on how far your tires are set, you may have enough room to do your step, step up and get on. Or you may not. So, know if you have a belt pulley or not. That may make you decide you want to step now for the left side in the front. On the left side, brings you to another situation you got to make sure you know. If you have a TA, if you're okay with stepping around that TA handle, with your step over here, that's fine. Because what you'll do is, your step, I'm going to mount one over here and I'm going to show you. You can step, you can step, you can climb right up on your platform. You can go around the TA handle, that's easy enough. But make sure you're aware that you have a TA handle over here and make sure this is where you want your step at. Again, you can mount your step here or you can mount your step here. It's totally your call. You can take the step that is for the sitting on the tractor, the front right side. You can turn around and you can mount that step on the rear right side. Again, I can make the steps straight, or I can make them with that curve for you if you want. But you can mount a step coming off right here. You can step here, get right on, and you don't have to worry about always stepping on your fast hitch. So again, the curvature helps clear everything, so you know that's not going to hit. I can either make it more curved, less curved, or I can make it straight. That's your call. But you have to know if it's going to clear everything, okay? That's on you. You know your particular tractor. All right, so let me go ahead and dismount this from here, put it up on that front side, show you what I mean, show you how it sets up, and the last one you're going to see is going to be the Super C. So let me move this step. Okay, so now from sitting on the tractor, this is now a left side step. As you see, I went ahead and I jumped it into that slot over there because there's nothing on here. If you have fenders and you have a spacer on here, make sure you get a spacer tall enough to clear these bolts. But a fender mount, if you have the bracket, will clear this, no problem. You just got to make sure you put spacers on here to bring your fenders up just a little higher to clear that. So let's walk on around and show you how it looks from the front. So as you see, tire clearance would be no issue whatsoever. And again, you can go ahead and throw your foot up there. Easy peasy. Boom, jump on up. I'm not going to do it because, again, this is a customer step and I'm not going to scratch it up. <laughs> I have tape on the back side right now mounting this on there to make sure it doesn't scratch it. But yes, that is how the steps mount. That is how the steps look. So again, know what you're paying for. Um, I put a lot of time and a lot of thought into these to make sure I can possibly clear everything imaginable to make sure these steps will work for you. Now, let me make sure, make sure I tell you one more thing. This fast hitch on this tractor right now is all the way up. It's as high as it'll go. Walk around here and show you. See, we're all the way up. I make the rear side, I think I make these at 10 inches, the rear mount, to make sure it clears beautifully on everything. All right, same with the C's, I make those short. The main bar, I make longer. I believe this is either 12 or 14. I'm gonna have to double check my measurements. Either 12 or 14 I make these. But anyway, I make these long enough that I can drop the step down low enough to give you guys a nice height to step on. I believe these are like 20, 20 some inches. They're not that high of a step to step up, but I'm going to make sure there was enough clearance that you wouldn't hit anything as well. Pretty much the same as the Super A's and all. The clearance is about the same. So anyway, I hope this helps clear up everything that I can as far as what these steps will mount on and how these steps work and any information you need to give me and information you need to know yourself. And yes, I will be running these steps on my tractors personally after I get all my orders out. Um, I am going to go ahead and I decided this 300 right here. This is totally off the beaten path of the steps But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this uh, 300 back together I'm going to keep her in her work clothes for a while and I'm going to go ahead and clean this tank out We're going to do the electrolysis on the tank um, Clean it all up and I'm going to get this thing back together and get using it So this one right here, we're going to go ahead and just um, just get her back together and uh, clear up all the hydraulic leaks and um Get the brakes fixed on it and all that little stuff other than that this thing's ready to go and um Obviously, the 450 is going to get restored before this one, but I do want this one working. As you see, that one hydraulic line over there started leaking. All the hydraulic lines got a hole in them, and it's done leaked out on the case. But anyway, enough of that. We're going to get into that in a later video. But So that's how the steps work. All right, so next video is going to be the C.
All right, actually, before I get to that C, I jumped ahead of myself. I want to show what this looks like mounted on the right side of the tractor in the forward position. So again, if you decide you want to step for both sides, there's one for the left side, and there it is on the right side. Again, I can make them both sides. You gotta tell me which side you want them for. But as you see, it clears the cylinder beautifully, no issues whatsoever. Clears the um, fast hitch, beautiful, no issues. And if you bring your tires in some, everything should clear just fine. But I now have this mounted on the outermost. You can still jump this into the further one in, and it still should probably clear that cylinder. I haven't tested it yet, maybe I might have to, but again, you have one of the two options to mount this one. All right, so now we're going to jump on the C, and then after the C, I'm going to do a follow-up video. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. All right, my friends, so you asked me to build one for a C, and I built one for a C. So this is showing how it mounts to the back. If you buy the extension kit, it'll clamp on just like that, and then we'll go around to the front. I'll show you what the front looks like. All right, and here it is mounted on the front. Everything clears. I use the same uh, square tubing that came on all the draw bars. Everything clears the brakes, clears the tires beautifully. And I will offer this one as well, either with a slight curve, it's a, or I can order, you know, offer them straight, depending on what you want. Um, these will be sold by themselves. And if you want the extension kit with the longer nine inch bolts, that will be additional. So stay tuned and we're gonna go look at some other tractors. All right, and one of the last tractors I can mount this on and show you, which is actually good because it's got the fenders on it, so it can kind of help give an example of the spacers needed to clear a fender. Now, obviously, when you got fenders on these, it makes them a little more snug to get up, but if you still decide you want to step to go between here and climb on up onto a 450, you can do it. Now, you see what I mean? As long as you have spacers that are high enough, you can clear the bolts just fine. And then again, that's how it mounts. That's how it looks. These tires here are all the way in. Now they're not reversed. I don't think you'd really want to on this because it's already close enough as it is. But these tires are massive on this tractor. These tires on this tractor are 16 nines. Okay, 16 nine by 38. These are big, these are big tires. I think the max this tractor came with was 15s and somebody has 16s on here. And I'll tell you one thing, if I run this tractor and it seems like it pulls these tires the way I think it could, I'm leaving them on there. If I feel like it lags it down, I'm gonna drop it. But anyway, we're not gonna get on the whole topic of the tires, but I'm just saying, you see the size of the tires on this tractor and you see the clearance you have in here? Absolutely perfect. So we're gonna go one around to the back and I'm gonna show you how it's mounted up. Again, see where I have it sitting at? Now you can jump it over to this one if you wanted to. That's your prerogative. I have it right now on the outside just to show um, all the way out and I'm still nowhere close to that tire and these tires are all the way in. Now again, yes, they're not put in on the inside bevel. You could actually jump this tire in a little bit more. Um, this one isn't, but I'm showing you how it clears. Now again, you could take this step. If you order a step and you want it coming off the back side, you got to make sure you tell me. Sitting on the tractor, you want a left hand step, but you want to mount it on the right rear. Again, if you tell me this through an email, I can help you do this, not a problem. So you're not trying to figure it out and messing up something, whatever, no issues. So if you decide you wanna mount these tractors from the rear and you don't wanna step all on your you know, fast hitch and everything, that's fine. I can make the steps come out to the back. So even if you went step, step, and then you're up, that'll work just fine. And again, you can mount it on either side if you want to. And this one here with the fenders, the TA, the light, it'll make it a little more difficult from a front mount but you could do a rear mount right here. If you decided to put a step off of here and drop it down, you could step, step, you're on the tractor. Again, I try to make it as easy and as universal as I could. Um, there's so many variations, there's so many different things on, people, on the tractors people put on there, so many different style fenders. You got the clamshell style like this. You have more of the straight fenders. Um, I like the wide fenders actually on the bigger tractor. I think it looks nicer, but um, but yeah, there's all kinds of configurations. So I made mine work with everything the best I could. And again, I'm only human. <laughs> if there's a mistake made, if you order it, 
<laughs> you can't blame me because I broke it down for you on exactly what I make. You have to know what you're ordering. Um, again, it's not being mean, but there is no returns on the fact of these are custom made into what you ordered. And I've already had a step sent back to me because somebody ordered the wrong color. They thought they ordered one color and it was actually another color. It was on them, not on me. And I went ahead and I asked them to go ahead and send the step back and I will paint them a new step and send it out. And I was planning on sending that step out to somebody because it was the color somebody else ordered. Well, unfortunately, when they sent me the step, they sent it to me not packaged up the way I send them out. The bolts were loose. They took them out of the bag. So the bolts and the washers were moving all around the box. They didn't wrap it with a bubble wrap like I do. So needless to say, by the time I got done through the carrier, it looked like it, you know, went through a tumble wash with the bolts. It just beat the Cerakote, I mean the powder coat all up. So unfortunately, that's why I can say I can't just accept a return and swap it out for you. If you order a wrong color and it's not on me, it's on you, I will exchange it for you. That's not a problem. You have to pay shipping to me and you have to pay shipping going back to you because they are heavy and that's a lot of money to lose. But I will swap a step out for you. But if you scratch that step up and if you lost the hardware where the hardware beat that step up, it's going to be a little bit extra of a charge now because now I have to strip that step down. And anybody who knows powder coat, it does not strip easy. <laughs> it takes a lot to strip powder coat. That stuff's strong and it stays on there. It's a, lot, it's a big process for me. So if I have to strip a step, you have to be charged for it. I apologize for it, but unfortunately it has to be. So if you don't want to be charged, please, if you order a wrong color, make sure you wrap it up exactly the way you received it. Bolts taped to the, the, the step, nice and tight, and you know, all that. Anyway, we can go through that if that problem arises, but luckily I've only had that issue happen one time out of over 100 plus steps I've sent out. So I'm not going to argue. But I'm just saying, if you don't want to be charged, I don't want to strip powder coat. So we can kind of work together here. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it kind of gave a breakdown of all these steps that I now designed. Um, so if you decide you want to step, hit me up again. 7 Farmalls at gmail.com. The email address will be in the link and down in the description. Email me if you want better pricing, like if you want me to break it down for you again, that's not a problem. I can give you the pricing again. I can give you the shipping again. Um, if you don't want to pay a flat rate and you want to pay like an exact shipping cost, that is fine with me. It will be tallied up into the cost. You got to give me your address, where you're sending it to. I will weigh it and I will make sure you get an exact shipping price. Usually, nine times out of ten, I end up paying a little bit more than my flat rate shipping that I quote. But I don't have a problem paying that little bit extra because I know I'm sending out a really nice quality step to somebody. Um, I know it's not good business-like, but I'm not doing this per se for a living. I'm doing this to fund my tractor addiction. So if you guys want to help me fund my tractor addiction and help me keep making my videos on these tractors, buy a step from me. You won't be disappointed, I promise. You, you will be getting a very nice step. So anyway, so that's it for my video today. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Any questions or comments, please leave in the box. If it's anything more detailed, it's easier for you to send it to me through an email for me to answer than it is to constantly go down to a YouTube thread. So please go ahead and um, email me. But other than that, again, like, subscribe. Please help me share this video out. And uh, anybody looking for a step, hit me up. 7 at gmail.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time.